Yeah, hi guys. So let's look at this question here. Uh, a very good question for numbers. A very tricky one actually. So let's see how to approach such question. It says that a b is an ordered pair of positive integers such that a plus b equal to two one one. A leaves a remainder of two when divided by seven, and b leaves a remainder of three when divided by nine. What is the sum of all the possible values of a? So how do you write this here? See, a leaves a remainder of two when divided by seven. So I can write here a is equal to uh, a seven x plus two. Correct. Obviously, where x will be some positive integer here. Okay, so x is a positive integer here. That's how we write. Now, obviously, so can I write b from this equation? So b will be equal to two one one minus a. I can put the value of a as seven x plus two. That becomes two one one minus seven x plus two. That becomes two zero nine minus seven x. Correct. That means I can write b as two zero nine minus seven x. Okay. Now, fine. So if I can write b as two zero one nine minus seven x, now this equation actually turns to be uh, that that means two zero nine minus seven x when divided by nine should give me a remainder of three. So if I observe this guy, so basically I want remainder of three years. What I can see that two uh, zero nine by nine nine that remainder will be uh, two. We can do simply because. Uh, How do we divide remainder? Uh, how do we take remainder by nine? We simply add the digits. So two plus zero plus nine is eleven, and eleven by nine remainder is two. That's two remainder here. Fine. Now seven x by nine. So obviously seven by nine remainder is minus two, right? Or, or I, I can say that to get a remainder of three. So this is two minus something, right? So this three also I can convert to negative remainder. So when divide by nine, if positive remainder is three, then negative should be minus six. So to get a minus, how to get a minus six here? So obviously it is two. So from here I should get a remainder of eight. Seven x by nine should give me a remainder of eight, such that two minus eight will become minus six. Correct. So now seven. Now my aim is here to get seven x by nine. Remainder should be eight. Correct. Now seven x by nine. Remainder is eight. Okay. Now how do you how do you solve this? Right. You can see here that you can see simply that uh, if you want a remainder of eight here. So you, it it certainly will have will have a pattern here, correct? So now what what is the pattern here? So first time when do we get remainder as eight actually? So first time we get remainder as eight. So now seven into uh, at x equal to I think five, right? Yes, at x equal to five. You can do bit of bit of pattern eight and trial here. Okay, so you can see that at x equal to one remainder is minus two. At x equal to two remainder is five. At x equal to three, remainder is seven into three twenty one by nine. Remainder is a uh, three. So at x equal to like that, if you see that x x equal to five, remainder will be eight. Correct? No. That means the value of x uh, will be this is this will be actually uh, five. Correct? The first value of x will be five. Now obviously there will there will be more values of x here. So now obviously because I want to divide it by nine. So my remainder should not affect. So I can say that whenever I'll add nine in x, that means f five uh, to fourteen to twenty three uh, to thirty two like that, right? So these all values of x I can keep here, and still I can get seven x uh, by nine. Remainder is eight. Why? Because just see the simple logic here. If I try to put x equal to fourteen, seven into fourteen by nine. So obviously. As uh, fourteen by nine will give a remainder of five, right? So I just I want to keep a number here which will give me a remainder of five because if if seven x by nine, if this seven x by nine, I want to get a remainder of eight. That's how that happens at x equal to five. So that means this part if I keep x equal to five here, so this part remainder I'll get five here. Okay. So that means already the remainder seven by nine, the remainder is actually. Uh, Uh, this is seven by nine. Remainder is actually seven. So seven into five, thirty-five by nine. Remainder is eight. So x by nine, I want remainder five. So that I can get by five or by putting by adding any value of nine because fourteen by nine remainder also will be five. If in fact twenty-three by nine also remainder will be five. Correct? No. So all time remainder will be five five years. So I can just add any mult any uh, any mult any multiple of nine here. Okay. So the series here I can write as five plus nine k because every time a multiple of nine will be added and any multiple of nine by nine remainder remainder will be zero. So of every time remainder will be will be five only. Okay, five plus nine k 
whenever you divide by 9 this part limit is always 0 so only 5 is left that's why we add multiples of 9 in multiples of 9 right so okay so now this x is equal to 5 plus 9k okay now so but i need to find the sum of all possible values of a here what is the value of a so when x equal to 5 so if i put x equal to 5 here a is 7 into 5 plus 2 that is 37 if I, now if i put x equal to uh, 14 here okay so 7 into 14 and 98 plus 200 if i put x 23 here 23 into 7 is 161 plus 2 163 so you can see a pattern here it's always increasing by 63 so it's always increasing by 63 obviously right okay so now uh, what i want here so i want the values of all the all the possible values of a here okay obviously i cannot go beyond that because uh, after this if i add one more value at 63 here a becomes 226 so a can't be more than 211 right because if a is more than 211 if a is 226 for example so b will be minus 15 whereas both a and b are positive integers right so i cannot go beyond this okay so only these three values are possible the sum of all possible values of a sum of all possible values of a is equal to 37 plus 100 plus 163 correct that is equal to uh, 300 so 300 is the answer for this beautiful question okay thank you